It's Make Happy Motivation. It's 13th of February 2018. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I did a video yesterday. Don't forget about you. And that means it in every single way possible. Your health, the way you look, your appearance, and how you get on with life in general. You know? Because a lot of people do end up forgetting about themselves. Like if you had a hobby in that. But I didn't really go into that. I was more talking about health, your health and all your appearance and your more so your hygiene as well you know some people let themselves go when they're in a relationship get too comfortable but we ain't talking about that today we are going to touch on the fact of habits now habits is something that we all have and we have good habits and we have bad habits that's why i say continue to make a habit out of your great habits and knock out the bad habits now how does that entwine with a relationship well within a relationship what people tend to do what you do i do we all do it from time to time we tend to let one bad habit outshine 10 great habits. And that bad habit could be anything. And if you watched yesterday's video, and if you haven't, make sure you watch it after or before this video. It's just the fact that someone can do something so trivial, like, I'll be using an example. Now, some of the examples are probably gonna be a bit controversial and a bit of a headache and, you know, but let's go for it. You had a bad day, yeah? bad day in the sense that you've had an argument and you know you're, you've gone out in public and one of you decided to look at someone that you know in an appropriate kind of way you've looked at the opposite sex or the same sex depending what floats your boat but the point is that one thing sparks into an argument and sometimes in some cases ends a relationship for many years now you need to look on the bigger picture You've been with each other for God knows how long. It could be just for a few weeks and you know more than each other, more about each other than someone who's been together for a few months or even a year. The point is of the matter is the fact that you both are together as a couple. You've done loads of stuff together, hopefully in some cases, some cases you haven't, whatever the scenario is. The point is, are you going to allow that one bad habit outshine 10 good habits? Now that's a problem in itself and that's a controversial subject but at the same time we are not perfect there's no such thing as a perfect relationship perfect relationship you know you from time to time i've heard it my sisters female friends from prior, prior before they used to say you know i'm looking for the perfect man i'm looking for the idol man and then you picture what you want and all of these things but you forget that you're in a reality that this is not a perfect world you know, we were not here. This is not, we weren't put on this earth for a perfect world. This isn't heaven. You can get as close as it gets, but there's always going to be little cracks here and there. And you've got to make the best out of every situation. Now, you can be happy in a relationship you're in now, or you can choose to just jump ship and go into another relationship where that one bad habit that was in the previous relationship turns out to be three, two extra bad habits on top of that one bad habit you didn't like in your previous relationship. And the thing is what people tend to do is they leave a relationship that's not working to go into a next relationship, sometimes without even a break. And that sometimes you don't even realise that you should be changing you because if you've been in a certain situation where you've been in a multiple you've been in a few relationships yeah i'm not talking about serial data i'm just talking about a few relationships well, maybe one two three or four maybe five not 10 20 and if it is 10 20 and the same things keep on happening don't you think you should be looking at you why these things are happening because it's you is the reason why these relationships ain't working now some of you may say, no, that's not the case. But in most cases, it is. And even then, you still need to look at yourself and build you and understand who you are as a person, you know, because you may be the one fought in these relationships when you didn't really, really look in the picture and realise that, hold on a second, in order for you to go into a next relationship, you need to work on who you are as a person. Because occasionally, sometimes you go in a relationship and one of you overshadowed the other one in the interest, hobbies, tastes, whatever it may be, you outshadow the other part, person in crime, your partner, or husband and wife. The point is, is it that important that one bad habit breaks up a relationship? I mean, a bad habit could be, or a bad thing for you to do, or something that you've done out of character or not in a relationship, like cheating is a, a taboo subject, I know. You know, going out and getting the next woman pregnant, oh, that's another one. You women going out there and finding yourself in the next man's bed, that's just as bad. You know, but this is the things like, these are the situations, and getting yourself pregnant, 
you know, but if you've been through so much, I've seen relationships that seem like they're completely shattered in pieces. People pick up the pieces and put fix them back bit by bit. You know, but you know, as it said, and I've seen a quote, I'm pretty sure it was the missus quote, that once apart, once it's broken, the pieces will never fit again together. I know, don't quote for quote for word for word on that quote, because I didn't memorize it. But the point is, it's the truth. Once there's cracks in a relationship, you can never click them all back into place. You can never fit them back into place where they click without no gaps or no imperfections. All you can do is build from it and develop the relationship for bigger to become bigger and stronger. Um, and so you're able to surpass another hurdle. Because the thing is, in life, life is full of hurdles. Life's full of obstacles. So that's all I've got to say to you right now. Don't let one bad habit be the outcome of your relationship and the, and the end of it. Yeah? Continue to make a habit out of your great habits and knock out the bad habits one by one. Stay positive, productive and patient. Yeah? And believe, vision, achieve. Remember to be consistent, committed and confident. And make a habit in God. Subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. I'm out. Don't go introducing them to the family. Don't do it. Please do not introduce to your children. I know you want to know if the children say it's a yes or no, depending on the age of them, and don't get them calling them mum, dad. That's just wrong. Wait a little while. Don't go there and do that. It's just not right. You know, and obviously we're going to get lovey-dovey, you know, because obviously Valentine's Day. So when we're coming up near to Valentine's Day in the next few days, we're going to switch it up, you know. And it's not going to be all doom and gloom. It's just about understanding when you start a relationship, where you go, how you deal with it. And every relationship's different, you know. Every relationship is different. Just like every person is different, every relationship is different. So there is no right or wrong way to do it. I'm only giving you a little idea, planting the seed and letting you understand, like, just understanding that certain things you just don't do. If possible, you don't do it or you'll